Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing probability, and this is lecture number six. I hope you have seven. I hope you have already watched part one to part six before watching this part seven. In this lecture, we are going to solve some problems and uh, problems on probability, and it will be definitely useful for you to understand probability and how to think about the question, how to proceed for solution. So let us start some questions today. And the very first question I am going to take on here today that in a lottery a person chooses six different natural numbers at random from 1 to 20 and if the six numbers match well with the six number already fixed by the lottery committee, he wins the prize. What is the probability of winning the prize? So in that case, uh, you will have uh, the solutions like uh, out of 20 numbers, six number can be selected in 20 C6 wage. Right, so 20 C6 wedge that is 20 factorial upon 6 factorial into 14 factorial that can be written as 20 into 19 into 18 into 17 into 16 into 15 divided by 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So all these things 6 3 is 18, this can be cancelled, and 4 5 is 20, so this is also cancelled. Now 2 can cancel this 8 times and now what is left that product of all these is 38,760. Now favorable case, what is favorable case? Here favorable case is 6 numbers are already fixed by lottery committee and if those uh, 6 are possible selected then person can win the prize. So 6 out of 6 is favorable that is 1 and therefore probability of an event is uh, NF by NS that is uh, 1 upon 38760 and that will be the answer of this question so hopefully you got it now let us discuss next question check whether the following probability is check whether the following probability following probability let is PA, PA, and PB are consistently defined. And PB are consistently defined. Consistently, consistently defined. Right. So the very first part of this question is PA is given here. PA is zero point five. PB is zero point seven and P A intersection B, P A intersection B is equal to 0 0.6. Clearly, uh, P A and if A and B are only two events, then P A intersection B is always less than P A, may be equal to also, but cannot be greater than. Here, probability of A intersection B is greater than P A and therefore it is not possible because P A intersection B is nothing else but common area between two sets you know so here the common area between these two is P A that cannot be more than A or B so if this is A this is B then this is area is P A intersection B which is always less than or equal to P A maybe so that is why here um, P this is not a consistent the distribution of probability is not consistent distribution of probability distribution of probability is not consistent of probability is not consistent not consistent right the second part of the question is here is the second part and second part of the question is given that PA is 0 0.5 PB is 0 0.4 and PA union B PA union B is 0 0.8 so here um, in this question it is given that PA PA must be less than P A union B and P B also less than 
a p a union b right so here that is both true and here p a union b is equal to as per definition p a plus p b minus p a intersection b and therefore what will happen here that 0 0.8 and this is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4 minus p a intersection b which is uh, this implies p a intersection b is equal to 0 0.1 which is less than p a as well as less than p b and hence it is consistently defined hence it is consistently defined consistently consistently defined this is the condition that p a should be less than and but here what is that p a intersection should be less than this but here p a intersection b is greater than p a so therefore it is not defined right now so this is what we have to do in this question now in question number 13 let us see what is this fill in the blanks of the following table fill in the blanks blanks of the following table following table and uh, it is given here that uh, p a p b p a intersection b and p a union b like this so the first part of this question is here it is given 1 by 3, 1 by 5, 1 by 15, then what would be PA union B. So using the formula PA union B is equal to PA plus PB minus PA intersection B and that will be 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 15 that is 5 plus 3 8 minus 1 7 by 15 that will be answer so the answer is here 7 by 15 only now the second part of this question is second part of the question is given here that 0 0.35 0 point and gap is there then 0 0.25 and this is 0 0.6 0 0.6 is also 0 0.60 we have to calculate pv so p a union b in the same formula if i write p a plus p b minus p a intersection b in that case what will happen that this is 0 0.6 is equal to 0 0.35 plus p a intersection b minus 0 0.25 so this is 0 0.1 so p b is equal to this employee p b is equal to 0 0.5 only right now so 0 0.5 so here we can write pv is 0 0.5 now the third part of the question is third part of the question is given here that is 0 0.5 and 0 0.35 and there is a gap and then 0 0.7 so again using the formula pa union b is equal to pa plus pv minus p a intersection b and what is that 0 0.7 0 0.5 plus 0 0.35 minus p a intersection b in that case 5 plus 3 85 minus 7 is 0 point p a intersection b is equal to 0 0.15 and that will be answer so here the answer will be 0 0.15 I hope you got it. Now uh, let us discuss question number 14. Given PA is equal to 3 by 5, PB is equal to 1 by 5, find PA or B. Find probability of A or B. Probability of A or B if a and b are mutually exclusive if a and b are 
mutually exclusive event exclusive event so here the things will come like solution since a and b are mutually exclusive event are mutually exclusive event exclusive events and therefore p a intersection b is equal to 0 p a intersection b is equal to 0 now using p a union b is equal to p a plus p b minus p a intersection b we have here p a is 3 by 5 P B is 1 by 5 minus 0 that is 4 by 5 and that will be answer. So probability of A union B is 4 by 5. Right? I hope you got it. Okay. Next question. That is question number 15. If E and F are events such that if E and F are events such that such that probability of E is 1 by 4, probability of F is 1 by 2, and probability of and probability of E and F, E and F, E and F is 1 by 8. Find. Find first question that P E or F that is E union F and second part is P not E not E not F not E not F not E and not F and not F so consider the very first question here that P E or F is equal to nothing else P E union F right now and uh, which is equal to P E plus P F minus probability of E intersection F probability of E intersection F E intersection F so here this is 1 by 4 given, this is 1 by 2 given and this one is 1 by 8 given. So LCM is uh, 4 plus 2, uh, LCM is 8 and this is 2 plus 4 minus 1, 4 to 6 minus 1 is 5 by 8. So that is answer. Now again uh, it is given that second part of this question is second part P not E and not F not F that is uh, this implies probability of E not and F not intersection so P E not and F not is nothing else uh, try to understand what what I want to find out um, not E not F so from Venn diagram you can understood this this is E say and uh, one is f these are the two events i can consider it and this is e and this one is f not e not e is this one say here not e means everything outside of uh, this e that is not e and not f is also everything outside of f right now so it means all these things are common and uh, that will be not e means out of e everything out of e so out of e is not e similarly uh, out of f is not f so in that case except f all these things are there so we can write here that uh, a union B is basically we have to leave everything present except this. So we can write here A union B. 
वन माइनस टोटल बीज वन ना सो वन माइनस प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ई यूनियन एफ वाइ इट इज सो यू मस्ट बी रिमेम्बर दैट डी मोर्गन लॉ आर देयर एंड सो वट इज दैट एयर आंसर विल बी दैट विल बी वट वन माइनस फाइव बाई एट दैट इज थ्री बाई एट यू नो द डी मोर्गन लॉ इज देयर एंड डी मोर्गन लॉ इज वट ए यूनियन बी डैश इज इक्वल टू ए इंटर बी डैश एंड A intersection B dash complement means not that is A complement union B complement. This is what you know from De Morgan's law, and uh, this is uh, this has been used here. So remember this fact right now, and you will be able to get it. Now the next question I am taking here that is question number. Here is a question even D and F are given here and. Uh, solution can be obtained by writing this solution what is that here p a not e means e dash or union or means union f dash this is what given that is 0.25 we know p e dash union f dash is nothing else but uh, this is what this is p e intersection f whole dash right now that is e intersection f1 minus p e intersection f so that will be answer so e intersection f is what e intersection f can be written like uh, this is 0.5 so here this is given that 0.25 is equal to 1 minus p e intersection f and therefore p e intersection f is equal to 0.75 which is not 0 and therefore e and f are not mutually exclusive because for mutually exclusive e intersection f must be 0 right now. so this is what we have already learned the morgan's law and on the basis of that we have written so this is what question number 16 now let us see question number 17 and uh, e and f are events are events such that e and f are events such that e and f are events such that such that probability of A is given 0.42 and PB is given here probability of B is 0.48 if P A intersects and probability of A intersection B is given as 0.16 now determine 1 probability of A probability of not a not a and second part is probability of not b not b and third part is probability of a or b probability of a or b so not a solutions can be written like solution page probability of a and b are two events such that not e and f because it is describing a and b so a and b are events such that probability of a probability of b so here probability of a is equal to probability of not a means one minus probability of a and therefore one minus what is that probability of a probability of a is 0.42 that is 0.48 not a similarly probability of not b not b is nothing else but 1 minus probability of b that is 1 minus 0.48 that is 0.42 right and 
probability of A union B is A or B is nothing else but A union B is probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. Say here P A not A not B. P A plus P B is equal to here P A plus P B is given. So we can write it 0 0.16 sorry 0 0.42 plus 0 0.4842 0 plus 0.48 minus 0 0.16 that is 0 0.90 minus 0.16 so that is 7 0 0.74 and that will be answer of this question now question number 18 let us see question number 18 is there and what is that try to understand question number 18 in a class 11th in a class let me write question and pause the video so here is a question in class 11th uh, school of a school 40% of the students study mathematics and 30% biology 10% study both mathematics and biology a student is selected at random from the class find the probability that he will study mathematics or biology so to answer this question here is a solution let m denotes those who are studying those who study who study mathematics who study mathematics study mathematics and b for biology and b those students who study biology right so probability of those students who study mathematics is given here and that is 40 percent 40 percent that is 40 percent of students study mathematics and similarly probability of those who study biology is 30 percent 10 percent of students study mathematics and biology so we can write probability of mathematics intersects in biology is 10 percent now we have to calculate probability of how many students either study mathematics or biology so using this formula we can write as probability of m union b is equal to probability of a m plus probability of b probability of m plus probability of b minus probability of m intersection b so this is 40 percent plus 30 percent 40 percent plus 30 percent minus 10 percent 40 plus 30 is 70 minus 10 is 60 percent so this is what uh, 60 percent of students study either mathematics or biology this is what the probability of the question 60 percent means 3 by 5 60 percent or 60 by 100 or 3 by 5 anything you can write all of them are correct i hope you got it here is a question in an entrance exam is test there uh, that is graded on the basis of two examination probability of randomly chosen students passing the first examination is 0 0.8 passing the second examination is uh, 0 0.7 passing at least one of them is that is union so p passing first f denote solution i can write let f denote let f denote passing first and s denotes so passing second examination let f denote passing first examination passing first or even even denote passing first examination passing first examination exam mination and e2 denotes the passing second examination passing of second examination second examination right so p e1 is given passing first examination has probability 0 0.8 given here that is 0 0.8 passing the second examination probability of e2 is 0 0.7 and probability of E1 in union E2 passing at least one of them is 0 
So what is the probability of passing both the examination? So as per the formula, we know P E1 in union E2 is equal to P E1 plus P E2 minus P E1 intersection E2 and that you have to calculate both the examination. So here we will write 0 0.95 is equal to 0 0.8 plus 0 0.7 minus probability of E1 intersection E2. So P E1 intersection E2 is given as this is 1.5 right now minus 0 0.95 that is 0 0.55 so passing both the examination has probability therefore probability of probability of probability of passing both the examination both the examination examination age 0 0.55 answer now let us see the next question and that is question number 20 here it is given that probability of a students will pass the final examination in both English and Hindi is 0 0.5 and the probability of passing is neither is 0 0.1 English and Hindi that is 0 0.5 and probability of passing neither is 0 0.1 so what is the if the probability of passing the English examination is 0 0.75 what is the probability of passing in the examination so probability of passing neither examination is 0 0.1 since probability of passing Hindi neither Hindi nor English right now so neither English nor Hindi is 1 minus probability of H union F this is what we have understood so here it is given that P H union F is equal to 1 minus P H intersection F neither Hindi nor English right now so this is a 1 minus 0 0.1 that is 0 0.9 so 0 0.9 is a probability that uh, neither Hindi nor English English and Hindi this is what the subject is given so E for English here I can take E for English E for English so English this is English so but to give here probability of E intersection probability of but we can calculate probability of probability of h union e is equal to probability of h plus probability of e minus probability of e intersection h so probability of this is 0 0.9 given and probability of passing in hindi that we have to calculate probability of passing in English that is given here and what is that probability of Hindi you have to calculate probability of passing in English this is given here that probability of passing in English examination is 0 0.75 and probability of passing both the examination is 0 0.5 English is 0 0.75 and this is 0 0.5 so probability of therefore probability of H is equal to 0 0.9 minus 0 0.25 and what is that 0 0.65 this is the answer of this question so i hope you got it probability of english and hindi neither english nor english this is what gave me right now so we can calculate them and there is no problem now question number 21 and uh, let us write this question first and then i'll explain you question number 21 Till then I am pausing this video. So here it is given that in a class of 60 students, 30 opted for NCC, 32 opted for NSS and 24 opted for NCC and NSS. So here simple space is 60, right now simple space is 60 and favorable cases for NCC is how much? 32, I think 32, 30, 30 is NSS. So probability of therefore probability of NCC is what? 
30 upon 60 that is 1 by 2 and NSS is 32 since NSS probability of number of NSS this is number this is number number of NSS is 32 and therefore probability of NSS is 32 upon 60 that is 8 upon 15 right okay now probability of NCC and and NSS NSS that is intersection is given here 24 24 for both 24 so that is 24 upon 60 that is 12 to 24 12 5 to 60 so 2 by 5 now we have to calculate uh, what is we have to calculate if one student selected at random find the probability that a student opted for ncc or nss means union so probability of ncc or nss is what probability of ncc plus probability of nss minus probability of ncc and nss intersection this is what so here uh, this is 30 by 60 plus 32 by 60 minus 24 by 60 that is 38 by 60 that is 19 by 30 that will be the answer right okay now the next part is a student has opted neither ncc nor nns so a student opted neither ncc nor nns it means this complement ncc or uh, nor nss nss and complement of this that is 1 minus 19 by 30 so 11 by 30 will be the answer and the third part is this is the second part and third part is what is that third part a student has option ncc but not ns nss but not ncc so outside of ncc and inside of nss so nss minus n a intersection b let me write on the next page ncc second part was probability of ncc or nss neither ncc nor nss third part is nss but not ncc is probability of nss minus probability of nss intersects and ncc and that is nss is what 32 upon 60 minus 24 upon 60 that is 8 upon 60 that is 2 by 15 and that will be the answer you can understood the, all these things through the venn diagram and what is uh, how the you can explain with this venn diagram that here the total is 60 and this is ncc and then there is nss and total students in the class age slightly yes and uh, total students in the class is 60 so here what we can write you can understand with this is ncc and that is nss i i repeat here this is ncc is 30 30 and 24 opted for both so first we'll write here 24 and ncc is 6 and nss is 8 so that it will be 32 nss is 32 ncc is 30 right now and uh, ncc is 30 so i can write here and nss is 32 so we can write it like okay okay total is 32 plus 30 is 62 um total is 6 24 plus 6 is 30 plus 8 32 and remaining 28 must be this side right now so that total will be 60 now uh, the first question can be written here that what is that first question ncc or nss so either ncc or nss 
this is nothing else but 24 plus 6 30 plus 8 38 and 38 out of 60 so total is 38 out of 60 that is 19 by 30 the second question neither ncc nor nss it means what you need to find out uh, neither ncc nor nss it means you need to find out outside of these two so out of the side this is 28 and 28 out of 60 so that is why neither ncc nor nss and that is 28 by 60 that is 14 by 28 by 60 and 28 this is 38 minus this is 22 so this one data is 22 so 22 by 60 that is 11 by 30 and nss but not ncc nss but not ncc is this region you know so this is the region and in this region there is only 8 8 out of 60 so that is 2 by 15 so this way you can also answer the question with using venn diagram i hope you understood all these things and uh, you are happy now because you did all these questions and uh, uh, see you in the next class and uh, if you haven't subscribed this channel do subscribe this and share among your friends as well so that they will be also equally benefited and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get the notifications as soon as the video is being uploaded on this channel thank you thank you very much and keep uh, um, doing this all questions again and again try to understand and we will see in the next class and solve some questions related to miscellaneous exercise till then bye bye god bless